We hear reactions from Texas stakeholders on the new law that allows private citizens to sue abortion providers. This, while South Dakota's Governor Kristi Noem is ordering a review of abortion laws in her state to see whether those laws can be tightened. The Texas law bans abortions for women who are six weeks or more pregnant. And while President Biden and top Democrats are trying to counter the move with little options, legislative associates in Texas are cheering it on. The Texas Right to Life, we are thrilled. We are celebrating this historic um, day for the pro-life movement. Um, you know, this is the first heartbeat law that's actually been able to be enforced in the United States. And so we're really excited about that and excited about the thousands of preborn lives that are going to be saved as a result of this law. The law lets private citizens sue Texas abortion providers who go against the law, and anyone who wins in court can get about $10,000. Yet a senior director of clinical services calls this a bounty. The state has placed a bounty, a $10,000 bounty on our head. Um, they've now allowed the everyday citizens, specifically the very people who stand on the sidewalk and harass myself and my staff and my providers, most times by name on a day-to-day -day basis, now have the authority and have been basically deputized to bring lawsuits against us if they feel that we've aided and abetted a woman in having an abortion past the time of fetal heart zones. The Supreme Court is leaving the Texas law in place in a close 5-4 to four ruling after it went into effect on Wednesday. The law has led to Kansas abortion clinics expecting more patients. That's not just Texans, but people from other states who would have gone to Texas for an abortion. What's more, South Dakota's Governor Kristi Noem wants to make sure she has the strongest pro-life laws on the books in her state. Currently in South Dakota, abortions are allowed 12 weeks or earlier into the pregnancy. Meanwhile, in the White House press briefing on Thursday, a reporter pressed Jen Psaki on Biden's stance on abortions. Why does the president support abortion when his own Catholic faith teaches abortion is morally wrong? Well... He believes that it's a woman's right, it's a woman's body, and it's her choice. Why does the president, he, who does he believe then should look out for the unborn child? He believes that it's up to a woman to make those decisions, uh, and up to a woman to make those decisions with her doctor. I know you've never faced those choices, nor have you ever been pregnant, but for women out there who have faced those choices, this is an incredibly difficult thing. Pro-life women have criticized Saki's remarks, even calling them sexist, towards the male reporter. Kristen Hawkins, who is the Students for Life of America president, told Fox News... It's Joe Biden who uses his Catholicism as a talking point, and as a woman who has been pregnant and a proud Catholic, I would like the president to address how he can actively undermine the church's teachings on the value of pre-born life. Some in the pro-choice camp who align with modern feminism say abortion is key to self-directed freedom. And pro-lifers agree that women have the right to manage their own health, but they say that right does not allow the mother to destroy her child's body, that her child also inherently has a right to life.